Today you join me over Boards Green on the Chancellor Anglian ticket and today is going to be something completely different. This is going to be my first in-session review and Gemini Tackle have uh, been kind enough to send me a little care package with some rigs in and I've got quite a bit to get through to be honest with you. I didn't think I'd get this much but they sent me a lot. They gave me some fluorocarbon leaders, I've got some of their tidy stems and I've got a multiple amount of um, pre-tied rigs, different sizes, I've got combi rigs, I've got runny rigs, I've got so much to go through, but yeah I'm going to uh, put these uh, to the test and see how many fish we can get today on a short session. I'd like to show how quick these uh, rigs are to set up, especially on a short, short session when I haven't got much time. I've already took the leader out, I've stretched it because it's fluorocarbon, I've also took out a runny rig and it, it's so simple to set up. The leader I was able to put my own leg clip on there easy managed to pull the swivel down into the um, lead clip it's a quick change one so I should be able to get my rigs on and off pretty quick all I'm gonna do is just take my braided main line through the loop do a quick knot whatever knot you want whatever one you prefer feel safe with Tell you, tie and braid for me, I find it really fiddly. <laughs> Moisten the nut, just pull that down. That's my leader tied on. Just gonna snap off the uh, tag end. Quick train swivel, pick up my runny rig, which is already stretched, and then. That's it. That is now ready to fish. The only thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put a bit of silicone on as well, just to make sure the quick change doesn't come off. And that's about it. I'm going to get a pop up on, and we're going to get this out, and uh, hopefully get fishing next ten minutes. Bit of a bit of a. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I've only seen two fish in this area. I haven't seen any fish anywhere else. So we'll see what happens. So let's have a little talk about the rigs and uh, what we actually have today. So the first bit of tackle we've got is what I'm using is the Fluoro Leader. It's 45 pound. Is it 45 pound? Yep, 45 pound. It's got size 8 quick chain swivel on it and both the loops are actually bonded. So I can't remember what it said online but it means the brake strength is a hell of a lot stronger than what they normally are. Uh, to that we're using the Ronnie rig which is quick look I think I'm using a size 6 hook yep size 6 hook probably about I don't know 7 8 inches long uh, well so we got it's a 6 mil fused loop one end with a quick chain swivel which again went on to my um, lead clips which is easy easy to put on with um, a baiting needle with um, a latch on the end so you just push it through pull it on and then it just clips in uh, well so we got it's got micro barb took on it already. It's got everything you need to be honest with you. So it took me seconds to set up, put the um, boily on, tested it in the margin and I've already got the rod out fishing and back to do a second rod. I don't know what to do though to be honest with you. I'm, I want to do solid bags but because I'm fishing braid I don't want to have the uh, tidy stem as close as it will be with the actual braid. So the only thing I can think of is if I tie some fluoro on and then at least I'd have six inches of that before I have my solid bag. Now I'm going to have a little play around and see what I can do. If I can do that, we're going to fish solid bags. If not, I'm going to get a turbo German rig on, again with a fluorocarbon leader, which is already all set up, and I will get that down the margin, and hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get one soon.
So I was literally just about to call it a night. I've been waiting for my GoPro to charge as well because I've been recording the rods just to see whether or not you know I can capture a bite. And literally I put my alarm, that's about it, put my battery back in my camera, put my camera down and I think it was about five minutes after that it rattled off and We got one in the net. Caught on the uh, turbo German rig. I literally left the rod out there under that tree. It had to go at some point. They were literally jumping over in that corner. But I'm glad I finally got one. I'm off the mark. He spat the hook out and I was able to use the quick link to pull the rig off. But the Gemini tackle gear has done the business and bagged me a little common. I am super happy. Gonna put the rod out for another hour. If we can bag one more, brilliant. If we don't, I'm still chuffed. Right, I'm just gonna uh Get this one clipped up to, I think it's 11 and a half wraps I'm fishing on, just under 11 and a half wraps. Should have wrote it down really, it's bad angling the my, my half. But let's get this wrapped up and then we'll get this one under the tree. Hopefully bag one more on the Ronnie rig. So that makes each rig one fish each. Let's just get it wrapped. Just, uh, Put a new fresh bait on and uh, can send this one out to the margin. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We uh, bag one more before we go home. At least you gave myself four minutes left on the timer, and I was going to wind my rods in. And uh, yeah, the Ronnie rig seems to have uh, done the business. Tore off. And we've got another, another uh, fish on the play. Haven't seen it yet. I think it's another common. So yeah, we'll get this one in. And uh, I think we're going to wrap things up. Final fish of the day, run rig done the business by that tree again. Uh, this one's very lively, so I'm gonna get him back very soon. But like and subscribe if you like this content. Gemini Tackle, thank you for the tackle again. I uh, will be using that at Willows and hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll make me bag one of the big ones in the Jinglier water. Speak to you soon.